Welcome. I feel I'm using Motorola One Vision, and today I will show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. So to get started, we will need to open up settings up. So let's do it right now. And from here, go to network and internet and choose hotspot and tethering. At the top, you will have Wi-Fi hotspot. Tap on this. And in here, number one, you can enable it from here. Uh, and you also have all the customizations. So hotspot name, as you can see right now, it's set to a hard reset. You can change it to whatever you want. Uh, just simply remove this and type in anything else. Uh, you have hide my device. I would not advise on turning this on. Uh, this will just hide the network name um, from the list of Wi-Fi's. So you would have to then scroll down, for instance, in your Wi-Fi list, you will have a button to add manually and you need to type in the uh, name of the Wi-Fi and then also add a password to it. So just removes that convenience of just simply tapping on the one that is visible and just putting in a password for it. And also you have the security and you tap on it. You have the type of security right here. You can set it to none, which allows anybody to connect or you can leave, well, stay with the one that it is and just close this. And here you have the password. You can tap on it. And by default, it's just some random generated one. So you can remove this and type in something that might be easier for you to remember. Uh, with the key thing to keep in mind is the, is the fact that it needs to have at least eight characters. So as you can see, this will be good enough. Tap on OK. And then you have turn off hotspot automatically. So if it's not being used, it will shut off automatically. Then you also have the AP band. You have two options for it. Um, if your device can support it, I would advise on using the 5 gigahertz. It's just gonna be faster and overall more stable and better. Um, while the 2.4 is basically accessible by any device. If your device doesn't see your network right now, when it's at 5 gigahertz, uh, you will need to go back and drop it to 2.4. Uh, it means just that your device is not like supporting it. It might be just an older device, but majority of the newer devices already uh, support the 5 gigahertz one. And once this is all set, simply tap on the check mark right here and it's set. And it looks like it also creates a nice um, um, it just uh, creates a nice pattern. Um, this uh, QR code that someone can scan and without providing any information, you can just use the camera and automatically connect to it. Um, but yeah, that is how you would set that up. And once you set set it up and enable it, it will create a shortcut as you just seen right here. And now you can simply toggle it on and off from here. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.